Hi there, I'm Felipe, video producer here at Recruity, and welcome to TA Tips. Hiring for diversity should be nothing new to hiring managers or HR managers. But why is it still a challenge? Hiring for diversity is not limited to only gender or race, but also expands into sexual orientation, socioeconomics, cultural background. I have experienced discrimination before, and it's not a nice place to be. So what is your company doing in order to prevent a candidate or an employee to go through that very difficult moment of discrimination. When it comes to entering a hiring process, what I look for first and foremost is an employer that will consider my professionalism and qualifications as the main factor in my hiring rather than looking at my sexual orientation or my cultural background. This is what diversity hiring should be all about. Seeking diversity hires. Many hiring parties are committed to diversity, but struggle to identify what diversity really means to their companies. The truth is diversity varies from company to company, team to team. This makes creating a strategy for diversity particularly challenging. It's important to analyze your current workforce and see if bringing in people from diverse backgrounds will actually improve your team's performance. If you're struggling to champion diversity in the workplace through recruitment, you should first look at your company's values and see how they interpret diversity themselves. Assessing your recruitment process. Incorporating diversity into your recruitment process requires careful consideration. Here's a short overview of the most common points that may be preventing candidates with a diverse background to be applying to your positions. Job descriptions. Job descriptions are often a candidate's first impression of your company. Make sure you have a critical look at the content of your job descriptions. Are you writing the job descriptions with inclusivity in mind? Pay extra attention to the choice of words to be as inclusive as possible so nobody feels left aside. Employer branding. 72% of recruitment professionals agree that employer branding plays a key role into any company. Those responsible for actively recruiting with diversity in mind should be mindful of everything that goes into employer branding. A good way to actively show your employer branding is by putting the faces of your employees on your website. This way, you're making diverse candidates with diverse backgrounds to feel welcomed to applying to your open positions. Interviews. People in general are biased. It's important to identify to what degree of bias you're coming into your interviews. Be honest and open with your recruitment team to mitigate bias as to prevent candidates with diverse backgrounds to feel uncomfortable in your interviews. Employer experience. So now you have onboarded a diverse candidate. What's next? It doesn't stop there. So you have to make sure that this now diverse employee feels included and accepted. And this does not mean just doing the basics in terms of acceptance. Try to be as empathic as possible so they feel completely integrated to your company. To wrap it up, we need to say the obvious. Inclusion and diversity will play a major role in the upcoming years in recruitment. And nobody wants to be at a company that is not offering a safe environment to all. No prejudice. If you like this video, please leave your comment and stay tuned for another TA Tips. See you in the next one.